Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over finding slope from an equation. To find slope from an equation, there's one thing we have to talk about. That is y equals mx plus b. This is the slope-intercept form of a linear function. Slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form gives us the slope and the intercept in the formula. And so we need to define what these variables are. The first one we see, the y and x are obviously y and x. m is a special variable, and m is always, always means slope. So the m, or whatever is attached to the x, will always be the slope in the equation. The b is the y-intercept. So if we're trying to find slope from an equation, first of all, we need to make sure we, are, we have slope-intercept form. Then we can easily find it by just looking at what's attached to the x. So here are our first few examples. We'll just go in order here. The first one is y equals 1 half x plus 1. Well, it's in slope-intercept form because y is by itself. And we just look for the m, which is the number attached to the x. So here my slope is equal to 1 half. And that's my answer. In my second equation here, I have y equals negative 3x plus 4. Again, we have y by itself, so we have our slope-intercept form. And my m here is negative 3, just whatever number is attached. Notice how I took the sign with it. Down here in my next box, I have y equals 2 minus 5x. Again, we're looking for the number attached to the x. So it's not the first number we see like it was in these first two. It's the number attached to the x, which is here a negative 5. Do not forget to put the negative there. There is a negative because it's a minus 5x, so it's a negative 5. And then our last example on this slide here, we have y equals 7 plus 1 third x. Again, we're looking for the number attached to the x, which is this positive 1 third. So my m is 1 third. Our next couple of examples are special situations. So if we look at the first one here on the left hand side, it's different because it's not in slope-intercept form. So we have to get it in slope-intercept form, which means we need to get y by itself. To get y by itself, we have to move everything else over. So the first thing I want to do is to move over the 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. When I subtract 2x from 2x, those will zero out. Bring down my negative 7y bring down my equal sign, and here I'm going to put it in my mx plus b form, which means I'm going to take my negative 2x and write it first, and then it will be plus 14, since the 14 is positive there, plus 14. Then to get y completely alone, I'm going to divide everything by whatever is attached to y, which is negative 7. We have to divide everything to make sure we don't change the equation. So my negative 7s here are going to 1 out. I get y by itself, which is what I wanted, equals, here you can just plug that into the calculator and uh, simplify the fraction there. That will simplify to positive 2 over 7x. And 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2, so it's going to be a minus 2. Now that we have it in mx plus b form, we can figure out what our slope is. And obviously that's going to be two sevenths because it is attached to the x there. Okay, my next example, y equals 3. Well, there is no x. If there's no x, then obviously it's going to be 0 because the x isn't there. So I actually should put, should write m equals 0. So if there is no x, then your slope is 0. You could think about this visually, y equals 3, if I drew a graph, 
y equals 3. Well, here's my y, and so 3 would be somewhere there. And I draw a horizontal line. Remember, horizontal is 0, so the slope will be 0. Let's do the same thing for x equals negative 1. Here we don't have a y, so it's not going to be 0. But if I draw my axes and graph x equals negative 1, well, here's my x. x is negative 1 here, and it's going to be a vertical line. A vertical line is undefined, so this one will be undefined. That is my answer there. Thank you for watching, and for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.